The Emergency Response Guidebook, ERG, is a guide to help first responders quickly identify the specific or generic hazards of materials involved in a transportation incident. The guidebook is intended to provide first responders with a tool to protect themselves and the general public during the initial response phase of the incident. The ERG is divided into five sections. These sections are color-coded to help the user quickly locate the needed section. Each section provides specific information the responder can use to protect themselves and the public. Since 1996, the Emergency Response Guidebook has followed a four-year revision cycle. Every four years, the United States Department of Transportation updates the ERG in cooperation with Canadian Canutech and the Mexico Secretary of Infrastructure. The latest version of the ERG was made available in the spring of 2024. This lesson reviews the updates to the 2024 edition by section. Beginning in the white section. Updates to the table of markings, labels, and placards included the removal of two obsolete designs. The two placards removed were the triangular marine pollutant marking and the yellow division 5.2 placard. Updates to the road trailer identification chart included the addition of new descriptive text on some configuration types that previously did not have any description. The rail car identification chart was also updated and received the addition of cryogenic rail car identification. The middle white section attached to the green tables was updated with a new table that assists with the decision process for shelter in place or evacuation. The second white section in the back of the ERG also received several updates starting with the addition of a liquid spill control method section. This section includes guidance on the types and uses of absorbent materials. A chapter was also added for considerations of lithium battery and electric vehicle EV fires, including identification of damaged, defective, or recalled DDR lithium batteries. The considerations for chemical and biological warfare agents were removed from the criminal or terrorist use of chemical, biological, and radiological agents section. Added to that section are all considerations for chemical and biological warfare agents found throughout the ERG. These considerations are now collected in this section. This new section now includes tables for identifying biological and chemical warfare agents based on observed symptoms. Initial isolation and protective action distances for these agents are now provided as well. Multiple updates have also been made to the yellow and blue sections. Eleven new UN numbers have been added and listed in the UN model recommendations on the transport of dangerous goods. These new listings have all been assigned orange guides. During the latest revision, all materials contained in the ERG were evaluated to ensure they were assigned to the appropriate orange guide. As a result of this evaluation, 19 materials were reassigned to a different guide. During the same evaluation, eight UN numbers were deemed obsolete and removed from the yellow and blue sections, and a polymerization hazard was added to UN number 3302. As stated earlier, all chemical warfare agents were removed from the yellow and blue sections and incorporated into the criminal or terrorist use of chemical, biological, and radiological agents section. The orange section guides underwent minimal updates during the 2024 ERG revision. The general first aid recommendations were moved to a new general first aid section, which can be found just before guide number 111. With this update, only material-specific first aid recommendations are included in the orange guides. Like the yellow and blue sections, chemical warfare agents were removed from the green section and incorporated into the criminal or terrorist use of chemical, biological, and radiological agents section. Green tables 1 and 3 have revised isolation and protective action distances. However, no new entries were added to table 1 during this update. New to the Emergency Response Guide for 2024 is the use of QR codes. These QR codes can be scanned with a mobile device to report hazardous materials incidents in the United States to the National Response Center. These QR codes can be found in the second white section in the back of the guidebook and on the back cover.
Along with the printed and bound version of the Emergency Response Guidebook, the ERG is also available in PDF form and as a mobile app for smart devices. The PDF version can be found using this link. The app version can be downloaded by scanning the QR code for iOS or Android. The developers of the Emergency Response Guidebook also accept and encourage feedback. They can be contacted by submitting your name, organization, contact information, and comment to ergcomments at dot.gov. The next scheduled revision of the Emergency Response Guidebook will take place in 2028. However, users are encouraged to check the Pipeline and Hazardous Materials Safety Administration PHMSA, website every six months for potential updates. The PHMSA website is www.phmsa.dot.gov. App users of the ERG should check for updates to the app in the same time frame or select automatic updates for this application on their mobile devices.